right, so, uh, why do I stick up for gay people if I'm not gay? Are they more important than anybody else? No. Why do I stick up for women if I'm not a woman? Are they better than other people? No. So why do I do it? Why do I stick up for minorities when I'm not a minority? Because I recognize their rights as being my rights. If I allow their rights to be trampled, I don't deserve my rights. Speaking of gay, Maddie Boa is a lesbian. Alicia Bollinger is bisexual. Maddie Boa, before I left for Virginia, Maddie Boa wanted to go. She wanted the set, as she put it. The set. She had already had a lesbian relationship with Alicia. She wanted to have a lesbian relationship with, well, Natalie Bollinger. And Mackenzie Chackman, her girlfriend at the time, got rid of her. Why did Mackenzie Chackman get rid of Maddie Boa back in 2016? Because Maddie wouldn't stay off the methamphetamines, and Mackenzie Chackman is a mother. She's got a kid. They got back together, though. I know that because Mackenzie Chackman, when I was trying to get Maddie Boa to tell the truth, well, Mackenzie Chackman took part in attacking me as well. They didn't bother showing you all that part, did they? Did they? Now, why is it that I'm not sticking up for Maddie Boa, even though she's a lesbian? I don't care about your sexual preference. I don't. I don't care about your skin color. I don't care about your gender. I care about right and wrong. I care about justice and equality. <laughs> what Maddie Boa did... Well... She deserves to be treated like a man. If a man did something like what she did, he'd get his ass kicked. If these people had picked somebody who would actually get violent, that's the reason that they picked on me. Because they knew that I would not get violent with them. They knew that they could do whatever they wanted to me and I would not retaliate. Well, with all due respect, beating you up isn't the worst way to retaliate. It's not the best way to retaliate. Exposing you for who you really are. That's the best way to retaliate. I got tired of being assaulted for things I didn't do. So I exposed them for things they actually did. Was Natalie on heroin? Yeah, she was, wasn't she? I was right about that, wasn't I? The things that I was afraid would happen if I couldn't get somebody to listen, I was right about. Completely correct about. I want Natalie Bollinger to have justice. If she was a victim. If she wasn't, if she was actively involved in this bullshit, like her sister, and like Maddie Boa, well, Natalie doesn't deserve justice. It was already served. It's just unfortunate that if she was involved, that she's not still alive to serve her time out in prison. If she was a victim, which I'd like to believe, she does deserve justice. The police obstructed justice. Her family obstructed justice. 
people who pretended like they cared, obstructed justice. But never did they keep their word. Peer was going to make a statement, didn't keep his word. Jamie Curtis was going to make a statement, didn't keep her word. Todd Rust was going to make a statement, but didn't keep his word. Jennifer Dazowski also didn't keep her word. Katie Cahill also did not keep her word. Shannon Alvarado also did not keep her word. The list goes on. Derek Parrish didn't keep his word. Joanna Taylor did not keep her word. Anna Hunka, who is dead now, didn't keep her word. Janine Barrett, that's Derek Parrish's mother. She's dead now. Also, did not keep her word. Lexi Woods did not keep her word. Lots of people didn't keep their word. But it's my fault they didn't keep their word, right? You say people won't come forward because of how I act. Well, with all due respect, when I was kind, it didn't do a goddamn thing. When I was kind and asked nicely, it didn't do a goddamn thing. When I was nice to Katie Cahill, because she was making me promises, promises that she didn't keep. I'm used to that. My whole life I've been used to that. People lying out their ass and looking the other way. Katie Cahill could have been the difference between me being railroaded and me having an honest day in court. Shannon Alvarado as well. Jamie Curtis as well. Todd Rust as well. All of these people. Lexi Woods. Joanna Taylor. Derek Parrish. Christine Buheat. Did they keep their word? No, they did not. None of them kept their words. None of them. And you want me to be happy and smile and pretend life is grand. Life is grand with your head in the sand unless you're afraid of the dark. And I've got a plan starring Iron Man with me instead of Tony Stark.